Welcome to the project demonstration of UWB radar based human being detection system. So this is a human being detection uh, based on the UWB radar from the word band uh, signals will be generated by using the uh, Raspberry Pi along with Arduino uh, Nano. So here uh, we are using this Raspberry Pi in order to provide the high frequency signals to this HBit circuit and uh, here the HBit will uh, generate the square wave pulses with inverting and non-interfering signals. So the signals will be parallelly given as input to this two uh, antennas which we have mounted the copper windings through this PVC pipe. So here the purpose of this one signal is as we are using this uh, sensors and one, two, three, four along with five sensors. So these five sensors are used to uh, detect the received signals from this one. So whenever there is no human being was present around uh, five, five, to, uh, 5 meters of distance then the received signals by this uh, sensors will be captured by the Arduino nano board and from there we are going to uh, ca calculate that signal values and stored in the threshold value. So whenever the human presence was detected then we are going to get the changing in the sensors values total 5 sensors values we are going to continuously capture that so means sending information from this antennas around 15 megahertz of frequency will be generated from this raspberry pi to this hb circuit inverting signal the much square wave signal is input to these two ultra wideband uh, copper coil antennas and whenever uh, the signal will be received continuously by this one it will capture it by the arduino nano that is nothing but the idle conditions it means we are going to store we are uh, be, before finalizing the project we need to test the sensor values initially means we need to note down the values whenever there is no motion and whenever the motion was detected at a distance of 3 meters 2 meters 1 meter 1 meter at the irrespective of the objects between the antennas as well as from the person so that values will be captured by this nano board so then we are going to code the system with conditions if the particular value varies means for example, if I am sending the uh, some uh, round of signals to that one, when the, sig the sensor received that, then if is there any uh, fluctuations from the threshold value, ideal condition value and threshold values below that, then is indication of the human being presence detected. So here, not only the human being, whether it is an animal, live human being, live thing, anything. So small animal or a person or a small children, you know the motion detects based on the human body size, the voltage variance will be occurred in the sensor receiving signals so based on that we are going to provide the audible alerts through this buzzer and uh, visual alerts on the 16 by 2 lcd screen so here the main components are like we are using the power supply from this 12 volt 2 amp transformer which will take 230 volts ac and provide us the 12 volts DC, uh, ac output and that will be converted into the dc with the help of this kbl10 and a capacitor from there we are going to get the 12 volts dc and uh, the operating voltage of our total components is 5 volt so in order to regulate that we are making use of this lm2596 voltage regulator the 5 volts was distributed throughout the input and output modules of our project so once we provide the 5 volts input to the raspberry pi it start producing the signals to the h bridge and these two antennas will emit the 15 megahertz of uh, frequency signals and that will be received continuously by the sensor so whenever there is no motion that's the idle condition that we have captured already and when the motion detects then the voltage varies from the sensors each and every sensor will be captured whether if this sensor is providing the signal not a problem then it will uh, indicate as a person detected and provide as a buzzer and the indication on this lcd screen so on this components wise this is the h bridge and these two are the operational amplifiers using lm3 uh, 386 and lm324 operational amplifiers which are used to provide the uh, signal amplification while receiving from this this sensor mainly and this is directly provided as a digital output and this will provide as an analog output so the five sensors purpose is if is there any small motion detected in any of the side then we need to capture that so that will be done by the, the sensors and to the uno board right so now let us see the uh, demonstration so when we switch on the kit as we discussed it will emit the signal and uh, the remitter signal will be received by these five sensors, four sensors are same and this one more sensor and that signal will be processed by the uh, nano board, this is the emitter and this is the receiver. So based on that, we are going to provide the signals. As of now, we are present in front of this. So now, the will provide the monitoring and motion detector. Right. 
Okay, let us see demonstration by placing darts to this wall. Start. Right, back. Again. Back. Again. Only the thing is like while we are demonstrating as we have tested this for uh, 4 inch of wall, 4 inch of normal uh, brick wall we have tested that and while you are testing this should be closely mounted on this wall directly as of there is no possibility for us that's why we kept like this one but it should be the only this one as I shown in this manner they should be like mounted to this wall then it can detect that uh, human being detection. Thank you. Yeah, let me explain the components. And uh, here, the for what to explain, this is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the circuitry and the UNO board, Raspberry Pi 3B, plus LM2596 voltage regulator, buzzer board, along with transistor and 16 by 2 LCD screen, 230 volts to 12 volts AC uh, step down transformer. Thank you.